Hi, it's Chippy from UMC Portal here. Um, just really want to uh, quickly show you guys uh, something that's, uh, that I'm testing right now. That's video editing on this device. But um, PowerDirector 11 Mobile seems to be extremely quick and really pulls some fast uh, convert speeds out of this. So let me quickly demonstrate to you um, just a very, very quick um, sort of video um, take, edit, and upload process that you could could be possible on here now. It's uh, br not brilliant light in here, but we'll see what we can do, okay? So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll just kind of simulate doing a video about this. Okay, here's a quick video about the Acer W510 keyboard. It's netbook style, mouse pad is not that brilliant. Integrated mouse buttons there. Hope you can see this okay. Then on the side, we've got one USB 2 port. On the other side, there's the uh, power port as well. Let's take a look at this um, docking port. So as you can see, two location connectors and the docking connector itself. The W510 keyboard uh, weighs um, around 650 grams, has a 24 watt hour battery inside, so it's effectively a battery keyboard dock, and that's a quick demo uh, taken with the W510 and edited with uh, PowerDirector Mobile 11. Okay, so there's my videos done, I can swipe that away. Uh, what we do now is we go to, um, I might have to just check that the videos get integrated into the library. Um, by going to, to my videos, sometimes they don't seem to get in, ah, not to my videos, I have to go to, I can do this in PowerDirector Mobile 11, so we'll just start that up now. This is PowerDirector Mobile 11, available in the store. Um, hopefully the media is already imported. Let's have a look, there, there it is here. So what we do now, in order, we select these videos. One, two, three, four, five. Go to import, then really, really quickly, um, you can reorder if you need to, you can trim those if you need to, but what all I'm gonna do is just do um, a built-in style. We'll go next, now unfortunately there's a bug here, I can't add titles to this. Should be able to add titles, but it doesn't seem to work. Right, and hit production. And then we're going to go share to YouTube. I'm going to go for 360p to make this quick and we'll see how quickly it does it. So um, I'll just make that private. Um, you can put your title in there, description in there. Hit share. So now it's rendering the video with all those uh, fades and um, sort of styles that have been added. If it had let me add the title, the title would be rendering on now. So that's um, the video. I guess that was about a 30 second video, right? Looks like it's going to take about 35 to 40 seconds, which considering the titles, the fades, the overlays um, and images are being added to that is actually not bad. I've tested a pure uh, 720p transcode and it does it in two times real time, so that's not bad. Anyway, that's done there in 30, uh, 35 seconds. And now, because my account is already installed with YouTube, it's uploading, it's 5% uploaded. So we've uploaded, we've created, rendered, more than just rendered, created, edited, rendered, and we're now uploading that YouTube video. And that is 20% uh, done. So it looks like it's going to take a couple of minutes. Um, and in that couple of minutes, I just want to mention that I'm also testing. And what we can do here is just bring that there. And we'll just put that to the side so we can see. Upload in progress. And we get access to the desktop. If you switch fully to desktop, this seems to have a bug. It fails to continue to upload. If you leave it on the right-hand side there, it's fine. Uh, so I'm also editing. Um, and we can bring... Uh, well, I haven't got it to uh, preview running here, but um, uh, Magic's Video Edit Touch, or Movie Edit Touch, I think it's called. I'm also testing, and that's a little bit more flexible in terms of cutting, uh, splitting, trimming, titling, multiple titles, and format conversions. Uh, but it doesn't have an integrated YouTube uploader. And it uses mainly CPU, I believe, for rendering. So whereas the Cyberlink 
um, Power Director 11 Mobile uses um, Intel QuickSync, um, which of course on this Atom based device makes a big, big difference. The uh, Magix version uses what I believe is CPU only rendering and it's much, much slower, probably about two to three, maybe even four times slower uh, than this uh, process here. So this is coming up to um, 97, 98, 99% uh, finished. So that is now edited, uploaded to YouTube. Now YouTube will need to um, convert that and that takes a, a minute or two. There's the video that I've up uploaded. Um, let's go to that and what we can do while we're waiting for that to be uh, processed is to just edit the um, edit the features of that. Of course I'm already signed in with um, YouTube and I can edit the uh, the name etc whatever I need test yeah so if I'm using the Internet Explorer browser here because it works nicely with the integrated uh, keyboard um, that should probably be done fairly quickly and how long has this video been six minutes so far and there you go that is going to play back it's a one minute video and here it is let's just um, do that full screen so you can see and turn the audio up so you can hear the audio as well because there's some audio on this let's see if I can I might actually have an audio bug here showing up because the audio is not coming through but if you go to YouTube and I'll make this uh, public you'll be able to see the video 360p quality of course so I did that for um, quick rendering and quick upload speeds so what I still have of course is the 720p original files on here and if I need to do a higher quality upload I can do that later but I think you know for quick uploads to YouTube uh, and remember this is an atom based device if this was a core based device you'd be working in 720p potentially 1080p i believe all right that'll do for that demo it was a demo of cyberlink uh, power director 11 mobile if you've got power director 11 um some of the um higher versions of that i think uh, extreme or um plus versions it comes with pd11 mobile key included but PD11 Mobile is only $12.99 anyway, so if you fancy messing around with on-screen touch, fairly quick uh, editing on um, Intel Atom, works in RT as well, and on um, Core, have a look. Uh, quick uh, shout to Cyberlink, well done, but get some new Magic styles in there, some simpler ones, some stylish ones, ones that I can uh, that work with titling as well, and that is going to be a very interesting um, application in the future. It's Chippy from umpsportal.com, the Acer W510 PowerLink, uh, Cyberlink PowerDirector 11. Thanks for watching.